On the Today Show on August 27th, 1985, there was a report about the success of MTV and its impact upon the music business. Pete Townsend and David Bowie were among those interviewed, and Bowie just points it out clear as a bell. An album that had been stiffened moved 150,000 units because of MTV. The change upon the music industry of technology would be greater a decade later with the internet. But MTV forever changed what music we hear and see and, and the role of video in music. And who likes videos in music? Well, I do. I contributed to all this. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Another thing. Ugh. Crank up the Victrola for so Boyd Matson continues his look at the video explosion this morning with music videos. What makes a good one, what makes a bad one, and what they're making of the music industry. Appearing live on stage in your living room, Bruce Springsteen, but all we get Prince, Sting, Tina Turner, It doesn't matter if you can't get tickets to the concert, you can now see all your favorite singers on home video. The number one selling video in the country last week was a music video, We Are the World. Six of the top 20 sellers were music videos. It's a success story even the marketing departments at record companies didn't envision. The sales of music videos means people are basically buying commercials for records. I have to sort out what the videos are for. I mean, that frankly, they are no more in the majority of cases. Um, commercials for the new song or new album or whatever. Last year, this is in 84 early, I, I looked at my royalty statements and there was an unaccountable peak in an album which had been pretty much sleeping. And I, I tried to find out why this had happened. I shipped about 150,000 extra albums, and it related directly to two weeks after MTV had shown a, my video. And uh, so I think it, it does have a tremendous result. Their proven success makes a video essential with the release of a new album. Record companies spend an average of thirty-five to fifty thousand dollars to produce a video of one song. For more successful artists, they will go as high as a hundred thousand dollars. The most expensive music video was Thriller, and the making of Thriller at one million dollars. Sales to the home market more than covered the cost. Music videos are not big rental items. People are buying them like albums, and they're priced to sell often under twenty dollars. And what are people getting for their money? Occasionally, innovative video techniques. The little pig knows what to do. He's silent and quick, just like all of us win. Live and die. I lost my power in this world. But the majority of music videos are stuck in the rut of repetitive images. It's all got very chocolate boxy in there. Or girls showing off their slinkiest dresses or whatever. What I'd like to see is it opening up a bit more. I mean, um, I think the idea of uh, viewers taking part more would be interesting. It'd be great if viewers could phone in and talk over the videos, talking about them as they're playing. That would sort out a lot of things, wouldn't it? Videos have given exposure to groups that might not otherwise have been heard and helped them sell records. But is that necessarily good for music? Bands that look particularly good uh, uh, that are glamorous are obviously helped by video. Uh, bands like Spandau Ballet, 
Boy George, who has a unique look, Duran Duran, bands like that that, that, that are good-looking guys it, or, or girls, uh, it, it helps a tremendous amount. Madonna must be doing very well because of video at the moment because you get to see her display, you know, and, and if you just counted on the record, that funny little weedy voice that she produces... <laughs> feeling of some musicians that videos have become too powerful in their ability to help create superstars is best summed up by the group Dire Straits in their new song, Money for Nothing. It's a half an hour of it's quite enough. I mean, once you've scanned through once, I start... <laughs> So, I mean, that's the thing that video channels should do more. I think they should talk about television more. I mean, we do live with the thing, television. There's very little education about television and how you can live with your television, you know, how you live with it, how to turn it off. For today, Boyd Matson, NBC News, Los Angeles. Well, don't turn it off. Thank you, Boyd. In a moment, a look at a uh, rather new look in women's tennis after a message. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Thanks for making the channel grow so much.